Zoho Invoice Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Zoho Invoice. Zoho Invoice is an online invoicing software that helps you create professional invoices, track expenses, and receive payments from your clients. It's a user-friendly tool designed for small businesses and freelancers to manage their invoicing process easily and efficiently. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of Zoho Invoice and provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started. We will demonstrate how to create an account and give you an overview of the features and functionalities of Zoho Invoice. Additionally, we will show you how to add customers in Zoho Invoice. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Zoho Invoice, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look towards the top right corner of the screen for the Sign Up for Free button and click on it. This action will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will find a variety of options to sign up. You can choose to sign up using your email or directly through your Google, Yahoo, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or Microsoft account. Select the option that is most convenient for you. After successfully signing up, you will be prompted to set up your Zoho Invoice account. During this process, you will need to provide some additional information to complete the setup. Once done, you will be taken directly to your Zoho Invoice account dashboard. The dashboard is essentially the command center of your Zoho Invoice account. It provides a comprehensive overview of all your business activities at a glance. The dashboard is also the gateway to all the features and functionalities of Zoho Invoice. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find a vertical menu that contains the main tabs of your account. Each one of these tabs serves a unique function. The Home tab gives you direct access to your dashboard, recent updates, and announcements. It is your go-to for an immediate snapshot of your business's current activities and updates. The Customers tab is the place where you manage your client base. It's where you can add new clients, view existing ones, and manage your interactions and transactions with them. The Items tab is where you manage your products or services. You can add new items, edit existing ones, and organize them according to your needs. The Quotes tab allows you to generate and manage quotations for your services or products. It's an essential tool for negotiating with potential clients or projects. The Invoices tab is where you create and track your invoices. This is vital for billing and revenue tracking. The Sales Receipt tab gives you an overview of all the sales you've made. It helps to track your income in a systematic way. The Payments Received tab is strictly for managing and viewing all the payments you've received from your clients. The Expenses tab allows you to track your spending. It's crucial for managing your costs and keeping your finances in check. The Time Tracking tab is a helpful feature for freelancers or businesses that build clients based on time. You can record your time spent on projects and easily turn these into invoices. The Reports tab provides a range of financial reports including sales, receivables, payments received, purchases and expenses, taxes, and projects and timesheet activities. Finally, the Configure Features list includes options like quotes, timesheet, and sales receipts. It's where you can customize your Zoho invoice to best fit your business needs. In addition to the left menu, the top right side of the dashboard also features more functionalities to further streamline your operations. The plus button acts as a quick access point for adding various elements to your account. You can swiftly add new users, items, time logs, weekly logs, customers, quotes, invoices, and expenses directly from this option. It's a user-friendly feature meant to expedite your business operations and make the process of adding new data a breeze. Next to the plus button, you'll find the settings option denoted by a gear icon. This is where you can manage the fundamental aspects of your Zoho invoice account. It's where you can edit your organizational profile, manage branding, check usage stats, add or remove users, set up roles, handle taxes, and configure the customer portal, among other things. This is essentially the control center that helps you customize your account to align with your business needs. Besides the settings icon, you'll find the profile option. Clicking on this brings up options to manage your account and access help documents, frequently asked questions, forums, video tutorials, and more. If you ever need assistance or want to learn more about using Zoho Invoice, this is the place to go. 
Finally, you'll notice an icon next to the profile section that looks like a square made up of nine smaller squares. This is the All Zoho Apps button. Clicking on this allows you to switch between all Zoho apps associated with your account seamlessly. It provides an efficient way to navigate through all the different tools and services that Zoho offers. This is especially useful if you use multiple Zoho applications to run your business. Now, let's see how to create a new customer in Zoho Invoice. Creating a new customer in Zoho Invoice is a systematic process that involves adding detailed information about the customer. This procedure is integral for managing transactions and interactions with your customer base effectively. To add a new customer, click on the Customer tab in the left menu to navigate to the Customer page. Here, you'll find two options, Create New Customer and Import Customers from File. Create New Customer refers to the action of adding a new customer to a system or database. This typically involves entering relevant information such as name, contact details, and any other necessary details. On the other hand, import customers from file is the process of importing a batch of customer data from a file, such as a CSV or Excel file. This allows for the efficient and quick addition of multiple customers to the system without manually entering each individual's information. In this tutorial, we will focus on the Create New Customer option. Clicking on this button will open a form that requires you to fill in specific information about the customer. First, select the appropriate customer type, which can be a business or individual. The primary contact field requires salutation, first name, and last name, which are essential for formal communication. Company name is for businesses, while the customer display name is the name that will appear on the invoices and other correspondence. Select the appropriate currency for transactions. Additionally, provide the customer email and customer phone for communication purposes. The Other Details section includes fields such as tax rate, payment terms, enable portal, portal language, and space for uploading documents. This section is especially important for tax calculations, payment schedules, and customer portal management. The Address section requires detailed billing and shipping addresses, including attention, country, address, city, state, zip code, phone, and fax number. It's crucial for invoice and shipping purposes. In the contact person section, enter the salutation, first name, last name, email, work phone, and mobile of the primary contact person. To add more contact persons, click on the Add Contact Person option. Custom Fields is a flexible option allowing you to add any additional information relevant to the customer. Finally, the Remarks section is where you can add any notes or comments about the customer. Once you have filled in all the necessary details accurately, click on the Save button to add the new customer to your Zoho Invoice account. This methodical process ensures all relevant information is captured, making customer management more efficient and effective. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Zoho Invoice. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take care.